was not expecting to watch this movie for the second time but since i am planning on watching the next installment of uh, yrf spy universe in the theater as well it seemed only right that i would cover this movie before watching patan so i watched the 2019 film of war for the second time it is the third installment in the yrf spy universe as of this uh, recording this is the only film in the yrf spy universe that i watched in the theater and i came out of it satisfied this is my uh, second time watching it and despite some of the issues that i have with the film i was entertained for the second time the movie is very action packed and reminds me of mass south indian films the locations are excellent and the visuals are stunning the highlights of the movie are hrithik roshan as major kabir dhaliwal and tiger shroff in a dual role as captain khalid rahmani and captain sarab and anupriya goenka as aditi nehta whom i remember playing a different character in the previous installment of yrf spy universe tiger zinda hai as a hostage nurse named purna so i don't know whether they are planning on going anywhere with that but i thought of sharing that information anyway if you want to see hrithik roshan and tiger shroff as super powered mass action heroes then this movie is for you I mean, hrithik roshan's uh, entry scene alone is enough to know what you're getting in this film it's nice to see them work off of each other and whenever both of them are on the screen together it provides for some of the most entertaining scenes in the film i did not like the comedy though and i did find their execution as a super powered mass action heroes to be hilarious <laughs> at first but as the movie progressed i got accustomed to it in terms of performances i thought both of them did their job really well I'm not a fan of uh, Tiger Shroff's acting in his previous projects as I find it very underwhelming but this is uh, one of his best work yet compared to his previous ventures. It's not a strong performance but it's good enough that I didn't find it cringy or disappointing. Hrithik Roshan's uh, performance is also really good and I liked his action scenes. One of the best aspects of this film and what I believe most people would watch this movie for would be the action scenes. The director Siddharth Anand has definitely taken inspiration from Hollywood films and it's very evident if you watched some of the popular American action films. The car chase scene on the ice is very obviously Mission Impossible 2 inspired. The magnetic device that Hrithik uses to hang on to the plane reminded me of Doom 2, which is not an American action film, but some of the scenes in the film reminded me of James Bond. And there's a very obvious concept in this film that is inspired by the movie Face Off. These are the ones I noticed the most, but there might be others as well. I don't consider this as a negative. In fact, I enjoyed the action scenes very much. The songs are very good but I don't like how they're placed in the film. The songs serve no narrative purpose but they're very nice to listen to. I liked Kabir's theme as it gives up a very mass action hero vibe. Now I get to my issues with the film. I did not like Vani Kapoor as Naina Verma in this film as I feel like she's an unnecessary character. You can predict her entire story arc from her introduction scene itself. Vani Kapoor as a love interest evoked no emotional response out of me and you can take her entire part out of the movie and it would change nothing. Vani Kapoor's character served no narrative purpose other than a love interest and eye candy. If you really think about it, Kabir did not need her as a civilian asset at all. He could have just come in and shoot everyone as he does later in the film. taken his laptop or the guy himself as he did not take off at that time this is my biggest issue with the film the dialogues are also bad but it's not as bad as brahmastra part 1 shiva as the dialogues in that are infuriating to me there are some unnatural dialogues in the film but the action scenes kind of compensates for that the banter scenes are followed by 
an action scene or a chase scene most of the time. So that kind of drowns out some of the unnatural sounding dialogues. This is not a negative, but something that occurred to me after I watched the film for the first time. There are so many aspects of this film that are similar to the 2018 action spy film Ayari, if not a slight variation of it. Both films have a student who looks up to his mentor and thinks very highly of him. But the difference here is that the mentor goes to goes rogue in war, whereas the student goes rogue in Ayari. Both films have a love interest who ends up helping the rogue agent. Both films have the mentor and the student teaming up after learning uh, the motive of why the he, why he went rogue and ends up killing the antagonist. The resemblance is obvious, isn't it? I do acknowledge the differences between the two films as well, but I thought of sharing some of the similarities with you. That's all the issues I have with the film. This is a very enjoyable one-time watch film. The story is weak, but if you watch the trailer, then you know what you're signing up for. In case you haven't watched the trailer, then Hrithik Roshan's entry scene is enough to understand that you need to throw logic and accuracy out the window when you decide to watch this. The movie does to Hrithik Roshan and Tiger Shroff what Mission Impossible 2 did for uh, Tom Cruise, turning them into mass action heroes. There are some very noticeable issues, but as a mediocre popcorn commercial action film, it's very entertaining. If you are a fan of Hrithik Roshan and Tiger Shroff and you want to see them as mass action heroes, or you are just looking for a casual time pass action thriller film, then I would highly recommend this film if you haven't watched it already.